Hello my homies, welcome once again to One Coin Only. It's absolutely fantastic to be here in your Sunday evening. It is now my Monday, and you know what guys? I'm one of those lucky people in the world that absolutely loves Mondays. Mondays is a great day for me, so I'm excited to bring you some streams, guys. And uh, we're about to get started. Before we get started, I want to bring up the x -Big Gaming stream team. Now, uh, every we've got a new stream every night of the week. You can catch me at uh, Wednesday night at 9 p.m., you should play this is about to jump on an Xbit Gaming as well. So you can pop between myself now and Xbit Gaming and you can watch two streams at the same time. Uh, I'm not sure what you should play this is playing tonight, but he always has something good in store for all of us. So uh, check that out. And also we have the one coin only store, guys. If you want to grab yourself a hoodie or a tee, you'll look like an absolutely beautiful sumbish because the clothing is quite nice. And a little bit we do make... Uh, does help fund the brand so literally every single cent we make from the online store guys goes towards our growth whether it be for new games or to hire other streamers things like that so thank you very much for all your support in advance guys and uh, just all the likes shares or watching everything like that I really do appreciate everything you guys all do and uh, there we go you've heard all the announcements we're just gonna play the little intro here we're gonna get started in about 30 seconds we're dual streaming guys, we're on both YouTube and Facebook, if you'd like to check out our YouTube, uh, link is pinned in the comments for you. And here we go, we're going to get to the comments. How are you doing Jeffrey, Justin, Daniel? Sorry if I've missed anyone, I've only just loaded them up now. Hey Payron. And uh, Payron says you're supposed to download the BIOS for me. I don't think so man. I, I, think, I think you should just be able to get it ro I'll have a chat with you later Payron. Uh, I think you should be able to just download it and uh, install it straight from Emu Paradise and it should work. 0.184 is the version you need. Lurch, how you going? Good to see you. Thank you very much, brother. Alright. This is a really fun beat-em-up. It's uh, a lot like Final Fight, but very cheesy. In a good way. How you doing, 8-Bit Steve? Good to see you, my friend. And uh, we've got two Steves in here. You're going to have to fight to the death, guys. <laughs> how you doing George good to see you my man thank you Joseph how you doing today I hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday night this game is freaking awesome I just love the soundtrack it is so freaking cheesy <laughs> you can you can just hear this opening track you know we're gonna have a good time <laughs> I have to turn my own TV up a little bit, I think. Hey, Kyle, how you doing today, my brother? Thanks for coming in. And let me know if the, the sound levels are comfortable, guys. <laughs> uh, there's a few different moves you can do in this, but I, hang on. I wish Tyrone was here, because he teaches me the moves. Oh. There we go, forward, 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 forward and attack I think does a rolly ball. Anyway, I'm sure Tyrone will come in, he'll help me with some of the moves again. There we go. Hey Kevin, how you doing today man? Thanks for coming in, I hope you're well. And welcome Richard. We have some fun with this sumbish. <laughs> hey Benji, good to see you over in YouTube land. So Castlevania Type 8-bit game coming out May 24th. Is that the one being released on um, iOperating System, Benji? Because I know there's a new iPhone Castlevania coming. K Headlock told me. How you doing, Peter? Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. How you doing today? Oh, you are here, Tyrone. What's a special move for this guy again? Oh, I'm, I'm doing Diag diagonal attack downwards and he seems to roll <laughs> forgot all the special moves yeah the mu music is freaking awesome Dwight that's <laughs> I can't believe this game wasn't more popular it's just uh, it's so much fun it doesn't take itself too seriously <laughs> oh thank you Nick good to see you again Thank you, Daniel. There we go. I think I got that one. I just wanted to get the ball happening. It's working out for us now. Oh. 
I've streamed this before, but I don't stream it very often, and every time I pull it out, it's just always such a treat. And uh, we've got a double header. We've got Asterix coming straight afterwards as well. <laughs> How you doing, Lewis? Good to see you again. All right. Boom. The music's always different in every level, you know. It's kind of got a bit more of a, a bit more of a, I don't know, kind of like a fifties vibe in this one, I think. Oh, James, you should totally do it, my friend. There's a, there's actually a Castlevania slot machine. Go on, really? I didn't realize uh, Konami actually did um, gambling machines because we don't we don't have any Konami uh, Poke or slot machines in Australia that I that I've seen anyway. Oh, I see Benny. Yeah, Benny's just talking about a new Castlevania style game coming out. And how you doing, Headlock Gaming? Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming in, my friend. Guys, make sure you like, share, and follow my friend Headlock Gaming. Uh, not only is he a brilliant streamer, he's also a part of One Coin Only. You can catch him up to three times a week with us. And uh, he does a lot of awesome fighting games, especially what is it with that Mugen system, I think it is. This guy kind of does look like Duke Nukem in a way, doesn't he, Daniel? <laughs> I can see it, totally. There we go. Uh, this game is called Violent Storm. This can be downloaded for MAME guys. So, uh, it's a pretty easy game to obtain. What kind of game is Asterix? Asterix of the arcade version is also a beat-em-up. So we're doing two beat-em-ups today for you guys. There we go. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Done. Oh, you're most welcome, Robert. Thank you so much for joining us again, sir. Always fun to bring you these more casual games. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it easy for today's stream because I'm hoping when I uh, when we all wake up tomorrow, I'm going to do the final part of Final Fantasy X. I'm up to sin. So I'm just kind of grinding at the moment to level up. But uh, we've got a really big stream coming up next. Which is why we're keeping it pretty low-key and relaxed uh, today. Oh, crap. Yeah, awesome, Peter. What's been going on anyway? Did you have a good weekend? Oh, crap. Come at me, bro. Ah, oh, lollipop goddess. I'm trying to spam attack this ball in the corner. It didn't work out for us that time. <laughs> we got him. Oh boy. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I know you like your barbecues, Pete. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I think there's seven levels in this in total. Um, it's a typical Konami game. It starts off, it feels pretty easy in the beginning. Uh, by the time we get another level in, we'll probably lose like nine lives in one stage. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a blanker wannabe, hey, totally. You saw so many video games around this time period with their own sort of like blanker wannabe character. Like, I mean, you had Night Slashes, you had Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, you had this. All with Blanker look-alike characters. There we go. I'm just gonna whack everyone with my big pipe. All right. I 
didn't realize you still wanted to be my friend, Peter. You came on and trolled me a couple weeks ago. <laughs> hey, Stacy, good to see you today. Thanks for coming in. And good to have you once more, Austin, as well, my friend. Yeah, this is um, this came out in 1993. Um, I mean, there was a bit. It probably got lost in the shuffle, if anything, to be honest, guys. As you know, there was a lot of beat-em-up games around this time period. And uh, this is just one of many that probably wasn't as popular as what it should have been. I don't know. I just feel like this game oozes charm. I love it. It's just such a product of the early 90s, everything about it. <laughs> How you doing, Cedric? Good to see you today. And good to see you too, Adrian. Thanks for coming in. I'm hoping uh, Clifford will make his way in as well because he requested this last uh, last night. Oh no, that's okay, Peter. It's all good, man. I don't hold my feelings. Don't stay hurt forever, my friend. <laughs> Life's too short to hold on to grudges. I just thought I just thought uh, you're annoyed at me or something. All right. Oh yeah, Austin, we've done, uh, te what is it, uh, Tower of Doom and Shadows Over Mystaria, is it? We've done both games, but, uh, we're due to do them again. It's been a while, actually, so we might do those over this week. That'd be a really, really good idea. We'll see how we go. Oh, crap. How you doing, Scotty? Retro B, good to see you. You should come in logged in as your uh, page, Scotty, so we can promote you, my friend. Uh, this is pretty much a carbon copy of Final Fight, but a very good one, Marlin. Uh, out of all the game beat em ups I've played, uh, this game probably has the most similar mechanics to Final Fight. It's uh, just very smooth, has good flow. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright. I have to turn my TV down one notch again. Can't hear myself before. There we go. I hope we didn't dress up like this in the 90s. Like, you're looking back on this now and everyone's just wearing such weird shit. And you've also always got that one professional wrestler character here. As you can see, we're taking on Road Warrior Animal now. Oh, look, Hawk's come in to join the party as well. <laughs> yeah, what a rush! Ah! <laughs> Captain Commando. You know, uh, Captain Commando... Look, Captain Commando is a very, very good game. I couldn't really get into it myself, though. Just, uh, I don't know. There was just something about it I didn't like as much as the other beat-em-ups. There we go. we got the floor meat again. How you doing, Hardy boys? Good to see you. Yeah, pretty much. There's a lot of similarities to other games in this, Benny, for sure. Hey, good evening, James. Good to see you over in YouTube land. Thanks for joining us. You're a Flano guy in the 90s. <laughs> oh, I had a lot of, uh, most of my Flano, most of the friends I had that wore Flano in the 90s were all into grunge music. They're all listening to Offspring and Nirvana. <laughs> Ah, crap. Alright, we'll get him. I can't remember the pattern of this guy. There we go, got him. There's Zangief on steroids. Just a reminder, guys, uh, we are dual streaming. We're on both Facebook and YouTube right now. If you'd like to check out our YouTube, uh, link is in the comments, guys. Subscribe to us. We do streaming on YouTube every day and bonus content, too. So it's uh, a little an extra incentive, I guess you could say, to come and join us. So I hope you enjoy. Got a nice intimate crowd on YouTube as well at the moment. Ah, crap. Damn it! It's not going so well at the moment, is it? <laughs> ah! So you're a Marilyn Manson kind of guy, were you, Steve? Oh yeah, absolutely. This is uh, Violent Storm Jesse, 
Uh, you can search for it in muparadise.me. Very easy to get a hold of. Runs great. No problems with this game. Do I play point and click adventures? Yeah, currently uh, we're doing Telltale games, Richard. So uh, we're uh, halfway through Season 1 of The Walking Dead. We'll be doing uh, Episode 3 very, very soon. So I like the Telltale games. We'll be doing them. Uh, if you mean like sort of the old school games. Uh, not so much, but I'm open to them. I would like to do Maniac Mansion eventually as well. Yeah, there's Blanker lookalikes in this game, Hardy Boys. Absolutely, we were just talking about that before. How you doing, Alicia? Good to see you today. Thanks for coming in. Oh, gosh. It's becoming a bit of a mess now. There we go. Floor sushi. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Yeah, I've, I've heard mixed uh, opinions on the Telltale Batman. I should just try it out for myself. I, I'll get it when it's on sale anyway. Oh, I haven't tried Hollow Knight. We'll definitely stream Hollow Knight this week. Uh, Josh was very kind to buy us Hollow Knight, actually. And uh, I feel bad that I haven't streamed it yet, so we'll do it on YouTube very, very soon, Adrian. I'm going to message Josh and make sure he's online when I do it. I do remember Day of the Tentacle. That's Maniac Mansion 2, isn't it? Never really played it, though. There we go. As you can see, this level here, guys, is kind of a copy of that industrial stage in Final Fight. Oh, actually, it kind of looks a little bit like that uh, industrial stage in Streets of Rage as well. You know, with those, uh, you know that first Streets of Rage game where you get squashed by that uh, hydraulic compressor, I guess you call it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Willy Beamish is actually, Steve. Oh no, we'll do it for sure. Alright, we got this. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't, don't get me wrong, I do acknowledge that it's a good game, Marlin, but it's just not my taste, I suppose. There's just something missing in it for me. Alright, here we go. And don't forget, guys, as soon as this is done, we've got Asterix coming straight afterwards. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Take that sucker. Yeah, it seems that way. If you don't have a factory, it's not a beat-em-up game. <laughs> oh, crap. I just did a charge attack, but I can't remember how I did it. Tyrone, I need your help. <laughs> oh, okay, sounds good, Pete. You take care, man. It's good to have you. How you doing, Martin? Good to see you today. Ah, oh, crap. It's really hard to figure out the pattern in some of these dudes. Ah, uh, Battle Circuit. See, I wasn't really into Battle Circuit either, Tyrone. I probably played through Battle Circuit once, and then that was kind of enough for me. And, uh... Headlock Gaming streamed Armored Warriors uh, last week, and I I'm kind of glad he did, because that's a good game, but another one that I didn't really connect with a lot as well. So I'm glad he played it instead of me. Oh crap. Come on, come at me bro. Oh come on. There's nothing worse than flying enemies. Oh boy. <laughs> so Thimbleweed Park is a new game. It's done by the same people as Day of the Tentacle. 
and done in the same style. Okay, is that on Steam or something, Richard? Alright, let's do it. Nothing like a walk in the park on a Monday, guys. Yeah, Headlock's got amazing uh, taste in games, doesn't he? I'm just like, I, I, I love fighting games, but I'm not that crash hot at them, so I'm just like, man, they're all yours. <laughs> I think I might do Street Fighter 4 Ultra, and perhaps Mortal Kombat 10, though, very, very soon. Uh, but anything else, they're all his. <laughs> So I might practice Mortal Kombat uh, 10 this week for you guys, and once I'm pretty steady at it again, I will do some streaming. Oh crap. I love the soundtrack in this level too. Oh, I see. Okay, Tyrone. Fair call. Hey Maurice, good to see you today. Thanks for popping by. And a big thank you to everyone who's joined us today. Welcome to One Coin Only, guys. I hope you've really enjoyed your weekend. And I hope you all made your mums feel special today. And if not, shame on you. <laughs> I have heard of Cyberbots, actually, Tyrone. I'm not experienced with it, though. I know the game you speak of. I think I've got it on, uh, if it's the one I'm thinking of, I think I've got it on main here somewhere, actually. Came out in, like, 1996 or something. Oh, for the dash. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm not really executing it too well. Okay, got it. I'll try and work that out. I like the ball better in the dash, but the dash is still handy. There we go. Oh, jeez, Ben. I'm not going to repeat what Benny just said in YouTube. Uh, this YouTube conversation's not for the faint of heart at the moment. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, so, so you, you, you're going to challenge me to play Cyberbox one day, are you guys? I didn't realize it had such a cult following. We can put it on one day. What's those uh, vampire beat em uh, What's those vampire fighting games as well that I keep hearing about? What is it, Dark Stalkers or something? Beauty is justice. Yeah, I'm a pretty basic bitch at this game, Tyrone. I'll do my best. It'd be handy if you know some moves for Asterix because I'm pretty terrible at that beat em up, actually. Come at me, bro. <laughs> we got him. I didn't even realize Cyberbots got released on console as well, so there you go. Oh yeah, I did a mini review on Clay Fighters just the other week. Uh, Hardy Boys, if you want to look on our video section, man. Yeah, I, I used to hire out uh, Clay Fighters from the video store. It's okay. Clay Fighters was one of those games I used to hire out when Street Fighter 2 wasn't available, you know what I mean? Ah, gotcha, Tyrone. Jeez, you're just an encyclopedia, brother. Darkstalkers, that's the one I was thinking of. Kind of like Street Fighter, but with vampires. It's probably another one we should try, too. Or maybe Headlock Headlock's probably better off trying the fighting games. He's better. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give poor Headlock the big list of fighting games to do that I can't do. <laughs> yeah, it did actually, Ben. Benji just said Clay Fighters uh, aged horribly. I'd have to agree with that. Like the gameplay is pretty fun, but it kind of looks like a big turd. <laughs> When's my next 24-hour stream? 
That is a really, really good question, Richard. I'm hoping within the month. Um, it's really, really hard because the 24-hour stream has made my internet bill about four, five hundred dollars this month. Because uh, as you guys know, I am streaming off my 4G in order to be able to dual stream. Um, and yeah, we don't get unlimited. I've only got a hundred gig a month, and uh, yeah, the 24-hour marathon send me way over. So. Uh, it really hurts the pocket doing those things, but I'm hoping I can do another one soon. Welcome back to uh, YouTube land, by the way, Hitmonkey. There we go, we've got a sort of another 50s feeling soundtrack in this level. Alright. This is so cheesy, I love it. <laughs> oh man. Kind of got a great balls of fire feel to this. Oh, that dinosaur beat em up. You didn't like Primal Rage? There's a couple dinosaur uh, beat em ups, but the most mainstream one was Primal Rage. Is that the one you're talking about? I don't know, uh, I mean, again, Primal Rage was all the rage, no pun intended, when I was growing up. The kids loved it, but I don't think Primal Rage has aged very well either. Uh, see, where I live, we've only got ADSL1, Justin, and so we're supposed to be getting this new NBN, uh, hopefully in a few months. But yeah, now where I'm living... It, it's crap, man. I can barely stream off it, which is why I use my phone. And Hardy Boy, uh, Martin here really likes. Oh, not Martin, sorry. I get confused between Hardy and Hitmonkey. Anyway. But we got some Moonwalker fans over in YouTube. Oh, no, that's okay, Retro B. Oh, thank you, John. Good to have you as well, my friend. I hope you've had a really good weekend. Now, do you guys know who this enemy reminds you of? Because he looks very familiar. And I'm trying to work out who he reminds me of. Don't know Rex by Tyro. I think that's the one I was thinking of, actually, Tyrone. Like a 1993 game or something. Use magic missile. I wish, bro. I wish. Magic missile makes everything okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't pick the sorcerer character. There we go. Oh, man. <laughs> Darn it. The boss the boss music's pretty similar to the Totals game, isn't it? Oh man. It's an epic boss encounter, this one, isn't it? Oh, stop morphing. There we go. Uh, we got some good hits into him there. Come at me, bro. Ah, oh, he blocked it. No! Stop blocking me, you prick. Ah! Oh. <laughs> He's got one little teacup of health left, the jerk. Oh, we got him. Oh, boy. How you doing, Christopher? Good to see you today, man. Thanks for popping by. And hello, Adam. And good... There we go. I think there's only a level or two left. I didn't didn't look at the map, so I can't remember. This is actually a longer beat em up than I remember, but it's been so fun it hasn't even felt it. Marshall Champion? I don't know anything about that game actually, Tyrone. 
But yeah, I'm looking for some more fighting games to do, so if you want to recommend some good ones, bro, message me sometime for sure. I'm kind of back on that arcade grind at the moment. I've kind of let it slide for a little bit. Ah, uh, Retro B is going to do Robocop versus Terminator. Cool, bro. I think that's the best version because uh, the Super Nintendo version of that game is pretty highly censored. But uh, on the Genesis, you get blood and all, which I think is pretty cool. Because I'm sick like that. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, Harvey. How you doing today, brother? Thanks for popping by. Oh. <laughs> Oh, unlucky, Steve. Oh, well, better than a kick in the head, sir. Oh, I see, John. Okay, yeah, I, I'm going to have to do my research. I don't any, know anything about that game. Hey. But I'll look, I'll, I'll look for the arcade version. Sounds good to me. Johnny wants me to play some Double Dragon. Uh, you, you know me, I love Double Dragon. We'll do a Double Dragon game again in the future. I haven't played the Super Nintendo version of Double Dragon in a while, so we'll probably do that shortly. But uh, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to grind some Final Fantasy X so I can dual stream the final part of that. Uh, probably in about 12 hours. But in the meantime, I'm also going to upload a bonus video on YouTube for you guys too. So you've got some more content coming before you go to bed. Crap, I've got this. Uh, welcome back, ADD Gamer Man. Thanks for joining us. And hello, Danielle. Thanks for coming over to YouTube. Really appreciate your visits, guys. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we're just going to eat some red lobster off the ground. I'm glad you're having a good time, David. Thank you, man. Yeah, the original Double Dragon on NES is incredibly difficult. Having to go through the whole thing with three lives is a very big ask. You have to get everything perfect and not make a single mistake. Oh, man. Rage of Dragons, Tyrant? Okay. I may have that already, I'm not sure. Oh, I want my pipe back. There we go, now's the appropriate time for coffee. Oh look, we've got a Bible and a floor meat. Oh no! Oh, that's not fair, I didn't get a chance to eat the meat. That is lame. What a jerk. Oh well, let, let's let's mess up his shit now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, ben Benji wants me to play Narc. I would play Narc, but my good friend Two Star Gamer already did Narc the other day. So uh, there's no real point to me doing Narc. You should check out Two Star Gamer for that stream. Oh, I, I don't like Blitzball. I, I, the less Blitzball I play, the better, Chris. <laughs> oh, thank you, Chris. Uh, we've got uh, Retro Plastic Gaming in the house as well, guys. Another great page you want to like, share, and follow. Thank you so much for coming in, Chris. I hope you've had a, a great uh, end to your weekend, my friend. Blanker ripoff. Yeah, as I was saying before, Dave, there's just so many of them in these uh, early 90s games. It's just such an iconic character that they wanted to copy, I guess. Uh, 64th Street, a detective story is a, a request over on YouTube. Bro, we've got that. Uh, we could probably do that in the future. Why not? I don't think I've ever streamed it. I oh, know that's... That game's kind of well known by a few people too. Come at me. Oh, come on, Blank. Oh, cool. Floor meat. There you go. Eat the floor meat. I don't think this is his final form. I think he, I think we've got to take him on again or something. 
Or there's another boss behind it all. I can't remember. Oh, boy. Uh, you kind of look sexy in the chains. We might just leave you there. That's a bit sexist, isn't it? <laughs> ah, gotcha, Adrian. Yeah, man, we can look into that, bro, for sure. Now, now that I'm actually up against the final boss, I'm not executing these, like, special moves properly. <laughs> uh, I can't even get a hit on this sucker. Ah! Uh, jerk face. His blocking ability is too good. There we go, we got him. Hey Jared, good to see you today. Thanks for coming in, brother. I hope you're well. You, you well, that that's a, that's an understatement, Tyrone, my friend. You're like a freaking encyclopedia, <laughs> and I appreciate you for it. Hey, I've had a big weekend. I'm feeling a little bit kinky, Stacy. <laughs> I'm just teasing. All right, I'll try again. Gosh. Hey Brian, good to see you today. You've come in time, my friend. We've got another game coming straight after this. Uh, I'm not very good at Asterix, so I do apologize in advance, but I know a few people have been asking for it lately. Oh my gosh. I suppose the final boss is expected to be a, a bit of a coin muncher, so I get it. Yeah, we got him. There we go. Use a special to get out of trouble there. I'm trying to use all my cool moves, and now that I'm under pressure... Oh, crap. They're not working when I'm trying to do them. There we go, now it is. Maybe I'm not working. <laughs> Hurry up. Ah. Oh, I can't believe it. He's pretty much taken a whole life off me without me even getting a hit in there. Far out. Sucks. I'm absolutely sucking this final. Oh, come on. Really? One more. One more hit, come on. Jeez. Whoa. Watch the tutorial when I load up Asterix. And Mod Michael in the house, thank you so much for coming in, Wolfman Gaming. Really appreciate you. Like, share, and follow Wolfman Gaming. Support Mod Michael, he will make you a mod for you can't refuse. <coughs> Yeah, Jared, this is Violent Storm. It's a really nice, cheesy beat-em-up game. Yeah, I know what you mean, Brian. I used to beat that game pretty easily as a kid, but uh, sometimes it's hard to find your uh, way around if you haven't played it in a long time. Thank you, Evan. Uh, don't go anywhere, guys. As soon as the credits are over here, we're going straight on to Asterix. So we're going to load up the next game now. Also guys, we are dual streaming, so be sure to check out our stream on YouTube. Subscribe to us as well if you like your daily streams. And uh, yeah, the address is in the comments pinned for you guys. Here we go, we're all loaded up. Boom, I don't take too long. We're just going to play the intro very quickly, as Tyrone here recommended. Boom. Oh, awesome, Adrian. I see. Hey, Puffy Boy, good to see you as well over in YouTube land. <coughs> uh, so, all right. Uh, who should we pick? Oblix or Asterix? 
epic Oblix today. Oh, thank you, JC. How you doing, Jamie? Oh, there was no intro screen in the end, uh, Tyrone, but it's okay. We'll just... We'll just play basic bitch style. It's no big deal. How's the sound, by the way, guys? Can you hear everything okay? Bloody Raw 2. We can do Bloody Raw in the future, Justin. I've got that, my friend. <laughs> As you can see, this game here is nothing too serious, guys. Alright. So you can double tap to run. I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, it doesn't matter. How do you run again? Is it double tap? Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, cool. I'm glad you were good to your mother today, JC. I hope she had a nice day, as well as your grandma. Hold tack, then release. Okay. Okay, we can try that. I think the delay is going to get me, though, Tyrone. But we'll see how we go. Yeah, we're pretty good, man. We're just doing some arcade games, uh, JC, and then as soon as we're done here, we're going to, um... I'm just pausing, guys, because I'm going to give you some more volume. I think it's a little bit quiet, so I'm just going to turn it up here. Alright, we're back in business. You can run Black Tiger? Bro, if you can do Black Tiger, you're going to have to stream that for us one day, Tyrone. That game is difficult. Those 80s games are... I don't even know my way around that game, to be honest. Alright. Oh, darn. All right, we got these suckers. It was a wind-up attack, but uh, you know that wind-up attack you do in this Tyrone? Does it hurt everyone while you're holding it down or only when you release it? Because the delay is probably going to kill me. Because it'll leave me open. Uh, whip and jump. Nice. Oh, whoops. Being a little bit clumsy here. Ah, nice. Nice. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I'm not very good at the special stages. Do I have Back to the Future? Which one are you talking about, ADD Gamer? Oh, here we go. At the next level here. I like that this game kind of takes after the comics as well, because... Uh, this reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go to the school library when I was like eight years old and uh, they'd have every single Asterix comic back when I was growing up. It was always awesome. And uh, the themes are always very interesting too. That was another popular one growing up. Uh, Tintin was also very popular when I was growing up as well. Ah, oh, get out of it, Oblix. Oh, thank you, JC. Yeah, I, I feel very blessed that we're growing. We've got a good crowd happening on uh, Facebook and YouTube today. I'm still glad that I can catch all the comments. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Tyrone. Crap. <laughs> Yeah, 
So this be this beat him up. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like this as much as Violent Storm, but uh, Asterix is obviously very nostalgic for me, so I kind of put up with it. All right. Uh, there's a lot of Asterix games. This one was arcade only, I think, Malik. But uh, there was like three Asterix games between Sega Master System and Sega Mega Drive, I think. There's a lot of there's a lot of console Asterix games, but they're all different. Oh yeah, hashtag it, Sambish. <laughs> Oh, we got Semper. If I str How you doing, Semper? Good to see you guys. Make sure you uh, like, share, and follow my friend Semper here. Great stream. Always has amazing content. And uh, Adam, you need to contact me about Steam still, my friend. You'll have to let me know when you've picked the games. I haven't forgotten about you, my friend. Just waiting for your message. Yeah, we're bitch slapping him. <laughs> It is pretty goofy, isn't it, Richard? I don't, I don't think this game was meant to be serious at all. Alright, eat, eat the apples off the ground, because that's totally healthy. Uh, carry on. Oh! I think I have to run and jump. There we go. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, too easy, bro. Now take your time. There's no expiry period, so whenever you're ready, man, we'll, we'll, we'll get it done, hey? There we go. Beat the hell out of everyone. Yeah, too easy, Tyrone. Sounds good. I think a lot of people here, especially the older crowd, would really enjoy that. Alright. More apples here. Oh, I just went splat like a pancake. Hey, I didn't, I didn't sign up for a platforming game. I thought this was just a beat-em-up. <laughs> oh, well. What kind of mic and camera am I using? I am just using a basic Logitech web camera. And I'm just using the microphone on my Turtle Beach headset. Um, so I'm literally on a budget, guys. But you know what? The quality is surprisingly not that bad. Uh, I have a green screen set up and three lights surrounding the green screen, uh, which is helping me get the most out of the camera, so that's a big relief. Uh, but yeah, my setup's not worth anything at all. I'm kind of innovating, if anything. <coughs> Excuse me. How you doing today, by the way, Doug? Always appreciate your visit, sir. Uh, yeah, okay. I can help I can help you with that problem, Payron. That's no big deal. I know exactly what's up. The reason that is happening is because certain versions of MAME are only compatible with certain versions of uh, MAME ROMs. It's really, really frustrating. That is why if anyone's downloading MAME, I tell them to go to MU Paradise ME, download MAME 0.184, and then only download the ROMs from emuparadise.me, then they will always be compatible. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you're going to have the same problem that you've just had come up, uh, Payron. How you doing, Gustavo? Good to see you. Thanks for coming over in uh, YouTube land, my friend. And how you doing today, Jeff? Thanks for coming in. Take that, you some bishes. Uh, good to see you, Steven.
Uh, who am I supposed to hit now? I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? I haven't figured it out. Tyrone, I need your help. So it's jumping attacks by the looks of it, is it? Hmm. Well, that sucks. <laughs> this boss is the worst. I just keep jumping on his head, I guess. We can do that. Side to side. And now we're talking. <laughs> That's pretty easy when you get in a rhythm. That's alright. We'll get this jerk face yet. Alright, we got him. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, nice, Jason. What were you playing today, sir? I'm curious. Good to see you, Pedro. How you doing today? Como estas? Don't use the later versions of main payron. That, that's what's that's what the problem is because there's, uh, they haven't brought out. It's hard to explain payron, but honestly, use main 0.184, and you'll see half these games are working. I deleted the newer versions of MAME because it wasn't as compatible anymore. And uh, in the case of MAME, newer doesn't mean better. There we go. Almost got, almost got this. Concentrating here in this far out. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't know too much about uh, the BIOS on MAME, so Kevin can probably help you in that department. I just sort of understand how the compatibility works. Oh, okay, we're going to keep going. Awesome. This game's growing on me a little bit. I think I just didn't like the first couple levels, but now it's kind of fun. Yeah. I'm using Oblex here because he looks like he can do some damage, you know? He's about 500 pounds. Asterix probably weighs all of about 120, you know what I mean? I don't think he's really going to hurt anyone. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> I love it. This game reminds you of Simpsons Arcade? Yeah, you know what, Steven? It kind of has that sort of cartoon, sort of almost slapstick feel about it. I can totally see that. As you notice, the levels aren't that big either. Like, we're up to the bosses already. Pretty much gets to the point very quickly, this game. Anyway, come at me, bro. Bitch slap these guys. Hey, Malik. Do you mostly I stream mostly on uh, YouTube and Facebook. Now we stream three times a week on Twitch as well. Uh, we want to stream triple stream on everything, but I just have to wait till I have better internet. Uh, but we're on Facebook and YouTube every day, and then we're on Twitch three days a week with Headlock Gaming. So um, yeah, it's it's worth your while to check out all three Malik if you like. How you doing, Jeff? Good to see you over in YouTube land. Thanks for coming in. Oh, nice to see you too, Stephen. We'll see you next time, hey? It's, 
Oh, hang on, we gotta we gotta get all this stuff. All the best to you, sir. Oh, we're gonna go back this way, I guess. Alright. As you can see, uh, the YouTube link is in pinned in our comments. If you want our Twitch, I'll give you our Twitch address too. Just let me pause for a second. Won't be one second. I think this is the right address. There you go. I think that's how it works. Cool. Alright, that's all done. Let's get back to it. How you doing, John? Help me. <clears throat> Help me. Oh, I didn't know you could fall in the hole. I accident uh, accidentally double tapped forward. That was a problem there. Alright. There we go. Out of trouble. <laughs> Can we go in this door? No, we can't. Cave, whatever it is. This girl complains a lot, doesn't she? She has a bit of a knight in shining armor complex. Stupid birds. Oh, shut your, shut your tits. <laughs> Alright, we got these guys. Oh, she won't shut up. <laughs> Yeah, the official... Yeah. When I, when I download my main ROMs, and I go on MU Paradise, they only have up to 0 0.184, and there's a reason for that. It's because everything on that site is compatible with that version. Oh, crap. Sorry, guys. You know, you could always work it both ways. You could always install the older version, and then have the newer version installed too. So you could make it work out in your favour that way. Ah, uh, yes you can, uh, Jeff. Very, very good call, sir. But I don't want to leave myself open. Oh, there we go. Worked out that time, though. There we are. Probably more helpful for the bosses, actually. <laughs> oh, I think you're quite safe, uh, Jamie. I don't think there's any needy girls in here, so you're okay. <laughs> yeah, you can't talk like Al Bundy anymore. You'll offend someone. <laughs> Alright, we got him. Yeah, I thought I'd, I'd better give it a try, Jeff. Hey James, good to see you today. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, awesome James. Baby steps, man. Start small, think big, you know. I hope it works out for you, my friend. Alright. Oh! Now where am I going? <laughs> oh. You know, it's all context, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think anyone should say something to deliberately hurt someone's feelings or to make them have a bad day. But, uh, 
you know, at the same time as people, I think we choose to be offended sometimes. And it's just gone too far. It's all context. If you just say something harmlessly and you're not serious, uh, people just need to get a life and do better things and complain, you know what I mean? It's just too much now. Well, you can say something... Like, there's this one guy, and I'm not going to talk about the story, but he's going to go to jail because, uh... of an inappropriate joke he did. Anyway, won't go into that today. Hey, Kayo, good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Oh, there we go. Got some pineapple here. Yeah, it's just, uh... Whenever someone gets arrested for something dumb like that, I just want to say to the government, so how's your war on drugs going? <laughs> Oh. All right, ADD gamer, you take care, my friend. We'll see. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Hey. Man, that's probably my favorite move, sitting on people. <laughs> are we gotta are we gonna hit this thing? I see. We're almost there, guys. Alright, Jeff. Set, take it easy, man. Thank you so much for your visit. Uh, this came out, I think, in 1992 or 3, Jared. Tyrone will be able to give me the release date. Yeah, I'm surprised no one really streams this either, Justin. That's kind of why I wanted to pull it out today, just to do something a little bit different. I think it's good to mix in a few obscure games within the mainstream stuff every now and then. Alright, we got the suckers. This is not too bad. Like, uh... I like to play Violent Storm more often than this game. Oh, this is still fun in small doses. Damn it. This, I don't feel like the combat in this game is as well refined as uh, Violent Storm. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Appreciate it. Yeah, we are dual streaming, guys. I'll remind you one more time. So, the link is there for YouTube if you want to see us as well gonna beat the hell out of this building here. Is that it? Okay. <clears throat> Alright, done. Keep going. I'll do the charge attack again. Okay, got him. Oh, awesome, James. Yeah, you get hooked once you get started again, hey? Do you like to fight? Okay, I might have to use a charge attack for this one. There we go. Nothing we can't handle. 
I tell you what, that uh, charge attack that you guys got me onto, it's really OP against the bosses. It's very effective. Oh, I missed him though. When am I doing Final Fantasy? Uh, probably... What time is it now? Uh, it's about what? Um, about 11 p.m. Eastern. I'm probably going to do it at 11 a.m. Eastern. Or 10 a.m. Eastern. So that's when I'm planning to do it. Yeah, ole! <laughs> Ah. Uh. Nice. Ah, oh, darn. Screwed it up again. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you, Tyrone. At least from the arcade sense, they are. Some of the con console ver- Well, not all the console versions were done by Konami, to be fair. So they do get it right in the arcade. Yeah, I'm probably going to do it at about uh, 11 a.m. Eastern, George. 10 or 11 a.m. Eastern. Oh, sorry, guys. I wasn't paying attention. I'm back now. I was reading the comments, not realizing I was dying. Ah, <laughs> far out. Damn, this bit is painful. I remember the last time I played this game, I struggled in this section, too. Anyway... Oh, thank you, Jared. Appreciate your visit. I'm glad you're having fun, sir. Alright. Now we're going to concentrate again. I use as a charge for 80% of the game. You know what? I think I'm going to practice using the charge more, Tyrone, because it's a really good move in this. Now that I've actually gotten used to using it, um, I can definitely see how good it is. I'll practice some more in the future. Yeah, pull it out again. Yeah, uh, the hit, de the hit, the collision detection on the charge is a little bit tricky though. But uh, there's a pretty small sweet spot. Take that, suckers. been going really well lately, JC. Uh, it's kind of like how one point only has been working out lately, I've noticed, is uh, Facebook's a more chit-chat kind of crowd, and then YouTube's kind of more of the chill lounge where everyone's sort of just a bit more laid back, I think. Kind of watches in the background. Yeah, Payron Tyrone, he's the right person to ask for help, my friend. Oh, totally, Jared. Glad to see you're still here too, George, by the way. Thanks for hanging out this whole time, man. Oh, I don't think YouTube's more serious. I mean, the, the crowds are both very, very different, though. Well, I shouldn't say the crowds, I don't mean the people, but the purpose between YouTube and Facebook is a lot more different. You know, I feel like Facebook's more for that quick fix, and then I feel like YouTube's more for that longer duration sort of video. It's what I'm learning anyway. Ok, 
<laughs> Good to see you're still here, Brad. Absolutely, man. Th and thank you. Oh, man. This reminds you of Final Fight? Yeah, it's typical old school beat em up. There we go. Oh, there's another one we missed. Aw, oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, that's all good, Adrian. No problem, man. I think we're getting pretty close to the end now, guys. Yeah, about that, Stacy. We're going to be doing the very final... I'm going to be grinding all day, so I'm going to be strong enough to beat Sin for you guys, I'm hoping. I'm, uh... Leveling up everyone pretty hectic at the moment. I really hope I'm, I'm going to get it done. I'm a little bit nervous. I can't... I don't know if anyone can help me, but I've been looking on the Sphere Grid in Final Fantasy X. And I, I can't find double cast anywhere. I looked on I looked on Google and it told me where to find it and I still can't find it. I'm trying to get Lulu double cast so she's more powerful in the final battle. Anyway. Oh, I got you, JC. <laughs> that can happen, my friend. Try and use this, uh... It's been a little bit of a sloppy playthrough. I, I think with beat-em-ups, I can't play them for longer an hour before I start to space out a bit. I think I think the action maybe just gets a little bit too mindless for me. <laughs> uh, not too much. Uh, I finished DJing for the weekend, James, so it's all systems go again, full-time on one point only. This is the most exciting part of the week for me. Uh, I'm going to batch create some more content tomorrow as well for you guys, so uh, it should be fun. I'm, re I'm really excited for this week. This super punch is the way to go with everything, hey. Almost got him. No, no, you can... It's not all he has. The uppercut just does the most damage, and it's easier to land. Like, you can do the normal brawling like this as well. 
And I think there's a few other moves. It is pretty basic in its mechanics compared to other fighting games, though, JC. I use 0.184 Payron, so that's the one that I got from MU Paradise, and it's compatible with almost everything. There's, there's, there's some main games that still don't work, but uh, I found the highest compatibility I've had is with that version. But Tyrone also has a really good version of it too, so uh, I think Tyrone uses 0.175. Oh. Darn it. Oh. <laughs> Uh, he's a little bit of a basic bitch, JC. I'm not going to lie, man. It is pretty basic. I use 0 0.184 Payron. The final boss battle is pretty epic, actually. I, I like this last level. Aww. Hey Justin B, good to see you today. It's always a pleasure to have you visit, my man. Come at me, bro. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice that actually until you mentioned it, Jamie. <laughs> He's like, he, this guy's like the Jolly Ranger Santa Claus. Like, if Santa was a redhead, this is Santa. I promise not to invade your village anymore. Let's party! Party, party! Party, party! I think that's it. <laughs> that was interesting. Here we go. Well, we're going to play the credits out, and that's actually us done. Thank you so much for joining us to the stream. Um, I would do another stream today, but I am going to practice Final Fantasy X so I can do an absolutely epic stream for you guys when you wake up, like I said. Uh, but we do have a bonus video going up on YouTube for you guys soon. Just an arcade playthrough. Uh, so I'll put that up in the next hour for you guys. And uh, then, apart from that, we'll see you in the morning. Pretty excited for Final Fantasy. And, uh, yeah. Awesome, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for coming in. We'll do a couple announcements before we leave, guys. Uh, of course, we have the one coin only shop if you want to grab yourself some clothing. Uh, the money we do make from here, guys, goes straight back into one coin only, whether it's for extra games or whether it's for uh, new streamers, things like that. We are really passionate about growing, and uh, everything you buy from here helps us. So thank you so much for your support, guys. And also, we've got the XBIT Gaming stream team, but not only these guys, we've got some amazing streamers that come on both YouTube and Facebook. I want to thank uh, Mod Michael, aka Wolfman Gaming, for joining us. Semper I Gaming as well. Uh, all these other amazing streamers in here. Scotty Retro B as well. Make sure you support everyone. We've got Game Station in here too. Uh, such a great community. We all work together to bring you uh, this content. So, thank you all for your support, for joining us each and every day as well. I'm Rick. That's it for now. We'll see you again tomorrow, guys. You have a great evening. Sweet dreams. Take care, guys.